Okay. So, this was a thing that happened. Oh, boy. Uh, Okay, mm. okay. Before we get too entrenched in in, in things that happened in this film, Mm. let's just say this. I enjoyed this film tremendously. For me, it was like finding an old friend that you thought was dead. And yeah. and and having and having the time of your life, just get just getting re- reconnected with this person, and having and having just having just the best time. Only for them to punch you in the balls right at the very end of your time hanging out with. Them. Only to find out that that person, that person was going to be leaving, and you would probably never see them again. Punch. In the balls. Well, he's being more. I, I'm. I'm still angry. I also enjoyed this movie. I, I enjoyed I this movie well. right up to a very particular point, and <sighs> this this video will contain contain spoilers. This by video, the way. Mm-hmm. they're putting that on the front screen. Yeah. of the video that we're, we're watching. We're watching. We're watching the honest trailers for the Force Awakens. So. Yes. So nobody's ever, nobody said that yet. So yeah, the Force uh. Awakens took. I mean, honestly, it showed Star Wars. How, the power that Star Wars has. Yeah. It, like, whenever it is taken seriously, again. Because we had those toy-driven... That toy-driven drivel... We don't... From... We don't from want to talk about The those. one and only George Lucas, who... Who's like 90% CGI, by Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's 90% CGI. Um, the fact that George Lucas gave his, pro, his IP up... For for a hefty amount of money, by the way, yeah, a good billions, billions upon billions of dollars. So the fact that he gave it up, uh, and Disney got their hands on it. Well, at first I was shaky about it, but over time, we saw what Disney was doing with the Marvel Cinematic True. Universe properties, and I started yeah. getting excited. And then I heard J.J. J. Abrams was directing this, and I was like, as long as he keeps the lens flare to to a certain which, degree. Which- he did. He, he did. He, he didn't go nuts on the lens no, flare. He did. He's smart enough to realize this is not Star Trek. Yeah, there's no lens flare here. Uh, if you can call that Star get, Trek, don't even get me started on that. Uh, okay. Don't. It, well, as Ben would put it, as if you can call that Star Trek. I mean, uh, decent space action movies, not, not great Star, Star Trek, Trek movies. Okay, but The Force Awakens uh. was a torrent of just awesomeness, and it and it took the world over again. It showed the world, hey, Star Wars is back. And it's here to stay. And we're getting more. Uh, we're getting more Star Wars movies every year. Rogue One. Rogue I mean, One I drops. That looks really about. good. Yes. Ro- uh, so actually, many Bothans are gonna die. There's actually oh, there's actually some stuff I want to talk about after we're done watching this. All right. That involves the production. Um, I'll tell. I've told Ben this probably, but I'll tell Micah. Uh, but okay. Uh, before we go any deeper, yeah. Let's do, let's, let's do this. this. Let's do this. Okay. Here we go. The following trailer is rated as for spoilers. No But come shit. on, you know you've already seen this movie. Like everyone in the friggin' world has. <laughs> From the company that owns everything you know and love, and Diet Spielberg. <laughs> comes Diet a movie Spielberg. that had to yep. satisfy decades of pinup nerd expectations, make yeah. up for the prequels, introduce the franchise to a new generation of fans, make enough money to justify Disney's $4 billion investment, and also, you know, be good. So, no pressure. No Star pressure. Wars nah. The Force Awakens. Yeah. The Force has awakened, and its first order is to revitalize the franchise <laughs> while setting the stage for an amazing expansion of the Star Wars cinematic universe yes. by shamelessly remaking A New Hope. What the? Who are you? I'm the original Honest Trailer voice, and the originals are always better. Oh. Yeah, you oh. wish. Now pipe down. I've got the best movie of the year to talk about. Best? Oh, man. I'm not going anywhere. Someone has to stop you from going full fanboy. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. All your favorite <sighs> characters are back for another adventure. Leia, Chewie, Han. And they all look really old. Uh, okay. well, what do you expect? But these living legends are passing the torch to a new generation of heroes like Rey, an orphan scavenger who's so poor she has to make her own Star Wars action figures. No. She's a multilingual yep. expert mechanic slash ace pilot slash force using badass who's so good at everything it makes her character completely uncompelling. <gasps> how dare mm. you? I mean, come on. How is she so good at everything? 
the because force? you know the force. She has the yeah. force, and it's awakening. And the force makes you awesome. That's not how the force works. <laughs> Shut up, Han Solo. God. But Ray's not the only one obsessed with Star Wars. Meet Kylo Ren, a brooding Jedi outcast, torn between his family legacy and the dark side. Never before has Star Wars had a villain so layered, so complex, and so whiny. He acts like a goth kid who can't find his eyeliner. You yeah. know what? If you're gonna keep butting Luke in, was super why don't whiny you just in the beginning. Yeah, he was. He's gonna Luke grow up. Me. That's the you point. Luke never really so stopped being desperate whiny. to recapture the magic of the first Star Wars. No, it's it's all right. Right. no it, it by, the, by the end of the Empire, I think Star he Wars knew he couldn't get away with whining anymore. Desert orphan and Jedi, he didn't whine anymore. He just did action. Top he only whined with Yoda a little bit. Escapes the Empire thanks to the Millennium Falcon. Visits a shady cantina. Learns about the Force from a tiny alien. Watches a man in black kill her mentor. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. helps destroy a Death Star by deactivating a shield generator so that X-Wings can make a trench run. It's another Death Star. Oh, man. But it's so much yeah. more than a rehash of everything that made A New Hope great. It's got all new stories to tell, like Finn, a conflicted First Order Stormtrooper turned rebel, hunky badass Poe Dameron, <laughs> and don't forget Captain Phasma, an awesome-looking Stormtrooper commander who's completely wasted in just 91 seconds of screen time that end with her useless character getting thrown in the garbage. Yeah, they totally wasted Brienne of Tarth. They did. But yeah. get ready to speculate as Abrams plants she's the seeds of back. questions yeah, that will is. drive fans wild with I anticipation. Well, she why, is. She's signed who up is for Snow? two more films. Who are Rey's parents? And why does R2-D2 suddenly wake up? Plus, questions that will annoy the rest of the fans. Like, why does R2-D2 suddenly wake up? Why is everyone in the galaxy either a Skywalker or a Solo? And why would we expect the guy who made Lost to have good answers for any of these questions? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. It yeah. is. For another time. Man, is there anything we can agree on about this movie? I don't know. How about on the count of three, we name our favorite parts. Ready? One, two, three. Kyle Ren stops a blaster bolt. bolt. Flying through a crash star destroyer. Poe yep. Dameron's beautiful face, Admiral Ackbar. Okay, now least favorite. Leia hugging Ray instead, instead of Chewie after, after Han Solo dies. dies. Yes. Did we just become best friends? Yes. Starring. Hmm. Lei AARP. Oh, come oh, on. Ray Sue. Better Anakin. FN 2187. Hey, that's my pin number. Oh. On Polo. <laughs> Emperor Voldemort. <laughs> R2-D2-2. Han Solo. Oh. Oh. A perfectly good. The yes! That was. That was. The easiest money Mark Hamill ever made. <laughs> and butthole eyes. Ouch. Star Wars, mm. a familiar hope. Well, nice meeting you, other epic voice guy. May the voice be with you. Hey, guys. Any reason why you didn't invite me? Who are you? I voiced the first ever Honest Trailer, remember? In 3D! Hey, guys, don't forget about me. I did Avatar. Ooh, man. I love how you said bloobs. 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 Jesus, Bloobs. stop it. Bloobs. Stop this got it. got weird. Bloobs. Yeah. Hey, guys. I heard you were having a voice party. How'd you all get in here? I got some pizza rolls. In yes! The got some pizza rolls. No, they brought it back! Maybe you should consider locking your booth. Be sure to subscribe oh, no. for more Honest Trailers. Leave a comment. Hey, Screen Junkies, now that the Force is with us again, uh. it's time for another awakening. We've teamed up with the awesome team from How It Should Have Ended for an exclusive brand new show. Really? After Credits, where we give our favorite movies the after credits scenes they deserve. Click the box to watch the first episode for Interstellar right now. We'll drop four new episodes each and every uh. month, exclusively on Screen Junkies Plus. So I saw a thing that should never be named. And watch our first episode right now. Oh, no. Murph. Uh -huh. Boobs. Like you said it in Game of Thrones Honest Trailer. Welcome aboard the SS Bodie McBoatface. Ah, Bo Hi, I'm Negan. Luke, I am not your father. I, I am a potato. potato. Honey, where are my pants? M. Night Shyamalan is the best director to ever live. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to say. My name is Crap Bag. First name Crap, last, last name Bag. Bag. Fool of a toque. <laughs> Winter is coming, and do Star Wars The Force Awakens. <laughs> we just did. We just did. We just oh. did. Okay. Uh. Okay. Mm. 
First off, I thought the film was tremendous. They did waste they did waste eco UIs and uh, that was so hard to watch because because they because they did point out some stuff that was that was kind of shitty. Yeah, but honestly, I still have the film very high. I th- still think of the film very highly. The film was good, but I, I was I was despondent. As you for should a, be. Like, for the rest of the... Like, I saw that in the middle of the day, and if I'd seen that later in the evening, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad, but... Okay. Like, the rest of the day, I was just gone. Me? Okay, me? I saw this at the midnight... Pre- or Actually, it was at the 8 o'clock uh, oh, premiere. Oh, no. And here's here's the kicker. When, the, when Han Solo's death oh. happened, I heard probably the most honest most heart-wrenching scream from a person I've ever heard in my entire life. It was it was so honest. It was so genuine. I was just I couldn't help but cry because just not I was saddened because of Han Solo. That was like tremendously horribly sad. But <laughs> this person has been waiting Okay, imagine this. You wait more than 30 years. More Actually, now that I think about it, more than... Uh, actually, no, no, it is 30 years. Yeah, actually, ROTJ was 83, right? Yeah, yeah, 83. You wait more than 30 years. For a good... For a good Star, Star Wars, Wars movie. Film. Yeah. You get it. But they There's take away your favorite <laughs> character. <laughs> and, See, and the the yell I heard it was so it was so genuine. I'll 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 do my best to to recreate it. Uh, no! <laughs> yep, yep. That's what was going on in my head. Yeah. I didn't actually do, like I was sitting there going, "Please don't do it. Please he, don't do it." Cuz the do very it. moment the very moment the saber lit up and it went through yeah, you know the Obi Wan no from from uh, it, it sounded like that, except it was just gut wrenching. Yeah, I about broke into tears when that yeah. happened. See, I was bracing myself the whole movie for that ever because when I in the movie when you find out that he's their son, I was like they're gonna kill Han. Uh, I was bracing for it the entire movie, and there was a brief moment where they where they were struggling with the saber that I thought he might leave with him, which would have been honestly would have been a really interesting. Yeah, uh, I think so. But uh, yeah, I was I was pretty much expecting it ever since I found out he's actually been solo. Oh uh, yeah, I went <laughs> went on the bridge, Ben. Yeah, I was like, oh no. And then they start talking. I'm like, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Han would never do this. Oh well, and- pretty well, pretty much when Leia told him bring our son home, I was like, they're gonna kill Han. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Okay, okay. That's a death scene you can see coming, and when it happens, you're not as surprised. There was some. There was a death scene that happened in the finale of Game of Thrones. I did not expect from a mile away. I think the the spoiler limitations are still on. on no, no, no. no. I, I I'm not going to give it away. It. I'm not going to give it away. But for those of you who are who are current on Game of Thrones uh, and the finale, do not spoil it down below. If I see it, I will delete it. Because people because that's deserve, not cool. No, that's people cool. deserve to see that legitimately. Yeah, I really hope he finishes the books. I yeah. I really I really feel like the the show and the books are going to diverge. They already innings, have. And the, oh, they, and have. they already have. Well, they have, yeah. but I think the the courses they've set, I think that the outcome is going to be severely different. Well, there's one thing George R. R. Martin said at a convention uh, that dealt that dealt with something that happens in season six. It's a very it's a very big thing that happens, and he said at a convention, it's just like, uh, well, in terms of the future of that of the books, you're not you're actually almost ninety nine percent on point with that. There's one little detail that you haven't nailed, hmm. and I'm just and when he and when that moment happened in the show, I was like, oh my gosh, that's it, that's the one. And uh, uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm, uh, the the Rogue One scenario. Right. That I told yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. Okay. The first cut of Rogue One was submitted to the Disney uh, to the Disney executives. Mm-hmm. They didn't like it. They didn't like it, and they actually sent it back for reshoots. Hmm. 
And in the process of this, it has caused Gareth Edwards to no longer be involved with the next Godzilla movie. Really? Gareth Edwards is no longer directing the next Godzilla movie. So because of this and because of other things, the, the executives are doing like very fast rewrites and very quick reshoots. Um, I, I'm just interested to know what I would like. I know we probably won't see it because it's Disney's IP um, is I would like to see the version we get in theaters, but the also version we didn't get the version that Gareth Edwards first submitted. Huh. Yeah. I would like to see what was what Gareth Edwards is. Vision was because after this, I don't think he's going to come back because of the whole brouhaha over the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, it's been a whole thing, and I I would not be surprised if this leaves a bad taste in his mouth. True. Yeah, well, it's just it's like the same thing, like Josh Trank leaving uh, the production of the Han Solo movie. He worked a good, he worked a pretty good while on it, and then they, they were just like, uh, okay, we have all these stipulations we need met. I quit. No, yep. that's pretty much what he said, hmm. and uh, it's. It's it's an odd thing that that Disney that Disney's having this much trouble. I mean, it, it's I mean it may very well work out fine, like the whole Edgar Wright issue over Ant Man. But it, it does sort of it does sort of make you worry. It does. It makes me worry a lot because yeah. <clears throat> Rogue One has the potential to be tremendous. Well, all of, well any film out there has the potential to be tremendous. And the the trailer looked tremendous. Tremendously, yep. yeah, yeah, really good, really good, and. Yeah. Just the fact that Disney is going to those lengths makes me feel makes me feel just uh, a little uneasy about it. Yeah, but that's just me. Uh, goodness. All right. We. Yeah, uh, I think that's gonna do it yeah. for this. Uh, this was oh. Honest Trailers, Star Wars: The Force Awakens, featuring mm. probably the saddest death scene. <laughs> the most. They made a spectacle out of it. That's they the did. thing, they and did. I. Mm, so no, no, anyway, no, guys. I, no. Okay, Ben. Gotta, ben. Ben. Right. Okay. All right. All right. So anyway, thank you all for tuning into this. Check out Honest Trailers down below. They have all sorts of different stuff. Also, that new series that they're doing with uh, how I sh how it should have ended. And uh, well, uh, don't forget to also check out our links down below in the description. Uh, signing off for the Renegades. I'm Nate. That was Ben. And, Micah. And we will see you all later. Take care, guys.